I'm Adam from DoingTheDrama.com. Hey, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cool matrix style um, color effect to your videos. First, I want to start by just creating a new composition. And we have my movie here. I'm just going to drag that into the composition. This is just me doing my my sexy dive and yeah, look at me, I'm cool. Um, first thing that we need to do is I'm just going to duplicate this layer by pressing Command or Control if you're on a PC and then D for duplicate. And with the top layer selected, I'm just going to add a tint effect. I'm going to Effects, then down to Color Correction, and then Tint. Now, when I was looking at the sort of trying to get the matrix effect, if I just go over to this picture here that I have. The kind of as you can see, it's kind of got a weird greeny tint about it. The dark colors are kind of green, and then the lighter colors are kind of yellow. So I'm trying to replicate this. But if you go to the map to black, I'm just going to set that for a kind of a greeny sort of maybe bordering on a bluey kind of, but mainly sort of green kind of color and quite dark. And then for the lighter colors, I'm going to go for a yellow. It's quite a bit yellow orangey kind of. Maybe a bit not as harsh as that. I'll do. And we have this crazy weird effect. Now the way we get it to look really cool is we go down to the transfer mode down here and we set it to soft light. And that's the, the first stage done there. We have this sort of everything suddenly looks kind of moody and dynamic. And you can leave it there if you like. That's all that's with it. It's without. You can see. Big difference. And it just kind of makes it look cooler. There are, of course, a few things that we can add to this to make it look a little bit... Just a little bit tighter, which I'll, I shall show you how to do now. First, I'm going to start by creating an adjustment layer. If you go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Then I'm going to add, um, go to Effects, Color Correction. I'm just going to add a Levels controller to this. I'm just going to move this in a little, a little bit. And then create a higher one, just move that down. That should just up the contrast a little bit. It makes the, sort of the darker areas, the shadows, it makes them really dark. And this will make the lighter areas really bright. And it just gives it a bit more contrast. And then in the middle, the colors are about the same. And then I'm also, because this is kind of looking quite colorful in areas, it's all, you don't want it to seem too colored. I'm just going to go to Effects, Color Correction, and then Tint again. I'm going to leave this as black and white, but I'm going to turn the amount to tint down quite a bit. That should just kind of just give it a bit more washed out kind of effect. And another little effect that you can add just to make it seem more dynamic is to add a, a vignette. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. But it's kind of like a a circle border, basically. And it's a technique used to sort of focus people, focus your eye into the middle. And it just has a pretty cool dynamic moody effect to your videos. To do that, we're going to go to Layer. Um, new, solid. I'm just going to make it the same size as the composition and make sure it's black. I'm going to click OK. And now we need to make sort of like a circle on this. So we go up to the rectangle tool, which you need to make sure is on ellipse. And then we need to make a circle, like an elliptical in it. The cool thing that I discovered today, if you double click on the icon, it makes a circle for you. How convenient is that now this is also kind of the wrong way around so we need to go down here to the mask and change the mode to subtract and it was just inverted and subtract the circle the mask as opposed to adding it now we just want to make this a bit smoother because that's kind of harsh we're going to change this feather up quite a bit but that'll do that's 140 and then I'm just going to change, just going to click on the solid layer and press T to get to opacity. And I'm just going to turn that down a bit because we don't want it to be too obvious. And that's just a way of drawing the eye into the middle and 
making everything seem quite dynamic. And there you have it. This is my really dynamic, cool looking matrix style effect. I've been Adam from DoosanDrum.com and I've just shown you how to do a matrix colour tint on your videos.